What sort of an idiot am I? Terenin was right. I'm just a panto. Of course my ancestors won't accept a girl who can't commune with nature, or even successfully run away from a possum without hurting herself. Huh? Is someone there? If you're some forest monster, or that possum that's come for revenge, just know that I have a, um, I have a stick, and I'll whack your brains out if you come near me. You can talk? Oh, thank the gods, you're not a forest monster or an angry possum. I was beginning to think I was going to die here alone. Okay, I hurt my leg. My phone is out of battery. I haven't had anything to eat or drink in hours. Darkness is going to fall soon. I don't have any warm clothes. And I just know that that possum is going to come back and finish me off. And Wait. You're a human! What are you doing in sacred centaur lands? Never mind if the possum actually attacks me, what are you doing here? A spirit visit? Oh, okay, I guess that explains the traditional face paint. Jeez, a human on a spirit visit. <sighs> You must be very close with the local tribe. Your best friend was a centaur? Was? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. They're who you're here to visit, aren't they? Oh, that's so sweet. One last hunting trip with him on your old stomping grounds. Oh, right. No, the possum didn't actually manage to attack me. I... I bolted before I got the chance. My leg. Oh, while I was running, I leapt over a fallen tree and landed funny. My left hind leg really, really hurts. Of course you can look at it. Please do. Is it broken? Please tell me it's not broken. Oh God, please tell me it's not broken. Hey, eh? No, no, I don't really need it for my job. I just don't have the best insurance. A sprain. And just a minor one. You got some ice at your camp that will help with the swelling. Oh, well, that's such a relief to hear. I suppose I should. Ah! Fuck, Claire, that was stupid. Granted, not the stupidest thing you've done today, but. Huh? Yeah, my name's Claire. Oh, yeah, I use my human name primarily since I work in the city. And most humans have an easier time with Claire than Kaiser Clot Terror. <laughs> While I am impressed you got my name right on your first try, I'd rather you just call me Claire. I only ever get called Kaiser Clot Terror when my mum is super, super pissed at me. As for your other question, no, I don't. I think I'm hurt anywhere else. Hmm? What's that? A game sled? Oh, that's something you use to drag deer you've killed. Um, I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm a little heavier than a deer. Are you sure you can move me? Sh shut up! If you're going to try and charm me while I'm helplessly laying on the ground, you deserve to throw your back out trying to pull my puff pastry plot. <clears throat> okay, Rudolph. 
Still think you can pull this sled? Holy crap! You weren't kidding about being strong. <laughs> Bullshit. You can't feel your friend helping you pull a herd sister in need. Oh, is that so? You never could have resisted a cutie like me. <laughs> Shut up. No spirit would come to help a phantom like me. Huh? A panto? What does it mean? I can understand why you've never heard that term. It's not exactly something centaurs would call each other when a human they liked was around. You probably have some idea how centaur culture is about the balance between our human halves, which want us to rely on logic, stand still, and live in the modern world, and our centaur halves, which want us to commune with nature, run freely, and honour the legacy of our ancestors. Panto is short for pantomime, or pantomime horse. Calling someone a panto basically means that they look like a centaur on the outside, but are actually two humans running around in a ridiculous horse costume. Yeah, I went for a run in the sacred centaur woods because I wanted to prove my ex-boyfriend wrong. But I think with the way tonight went, I proved him right. In my head, running through the forest would clear my mind and put me in touch with my ancestors, but in reality it got me lost and put me in contact with a really, really angry possum. I was hoping to ask the spirits in the forest for guidance. Looking back on it, a mother possum is well within her right to react angrily to a massive creature approaching her and her kids, but I was expecting something more... <laughs> more Disney princess, yes. I suppose it makes sense that this went as bad as it did. My ex was always going on and on about how lucky I was to catch the eye of an amazing athlete like him. How his skills on the track would get me in touch with my other half or something. I promise I'm not useless when I have access to Wi-Fi and flush toilets. Mm -hmm. Of course everyone's good at different things. I'm serious though. I run my own business and I'm really good at maths. No, I'm not an accountant. I'm a pastry chef. Okay, I can see you trying to stifle your giggles. That's almost worse than laughing outright. <laughs> yes, yes, my friends do call me Eclair. Shut up. it like that it does sound like he was just pushing his insecurities onto me when did he call me a panto when i dumped his ass for cheating <laughs> what's up oh high five sure thanks Yeah, I had been ignoring the signs for a while, lipstick on his collar, constantly coming home late, and long coloured hair on my... That fucker! Letting that bitch use my... Anyway, this afternoon, when I finally caught him in the act, using my main comb on her... Ugh. I broke up with him on the spot. 
He made up excuses and even tried to blame me for making him cheat, since a panto like me wouldn't understand the needs of a real centaur. Which is why I then bought a centaur size ticket on a long haul bus, headed to the nearest reservation, and ran off into the woods. I may not have successfully communed with nature, but that prick is going to be begging for my panto ass back when he discovers that his phone won't work without his girlfriend's money. Speaking of which, human, you've been incredibly patient and gentle with me. Do you think I could get your num- Oh, that's right, my phone's dead. You've got a solar powered charger on the campsite. And a hot meal waiting. Wait, is it human food? Or... You made a full centaur dinner for your friend's spirit. And you think you'd, you'd want me to have it? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just giving back to your friend and my ancestors for looking out for their wayward filly by sending you my way. And I'm apologising for the unfair things I said to them when I thought that possum was going to come and finish me off. Oh, I think I can see your camp. Cumin. You've been so generous and kind to me. Is there anything I can do for you tonight to make it up to you? Hmm? Well, yeah, I can do that. After all you've done for me, I'll bake your niece the best damn birthday cake she's ever seen. But that's in the future. Is there anything I can do for you tonight? It seems it's going to be quite cold tonight. I could perhaps share your bed. <laughs> okay, I can see that you set up a centaur-sized tent for your friend's spirit. I'm just not scared. Of... Yes, I'm terrified of that possum and I need to a big strong human to sleep in my tent with me so I don't feel so. <laughs> Damn it, you were just teasing me, weren't you? Fine, you got me. I really, really want to spend a night cuddle up to you. Of course, I'm interested in you. You saved my life, helped me get a head start on getting over my ex, and are taking me out to dinner as we speak. Honey, you literally swept me off my feet tonight. This might just be because my head is currently a margarita mix of different feelings, but the thing I want to do most right now is grab the rope that you're dragging the sled with, yank you towards me, plant a big wet one on your lips, rip your shirt off, smack the arse I've been staring at for the past mile or so, and then really get started on you. Prove it. Okay, you asked for it. 